Hello and welcome to the Brick Freaks. Today with a Christmas set. Yes, Rio Brick 66033. I don't know the name of this set here. It's a Christmas diorama. Okay. Um, normally I want to show you this set last Christmas, or October, November last year. But this set was stuck in customs for 11 months. Yes, 11 months. Nobody knows why or... Yeah, but now it's here. But it's still available, so I still can show you, you can still buy this, so no problem. Okay, you see some, uh, now you see some pictures of the final set, with or without the LED uh, uh, lights on. Uh, then I tell you something about the set, is it worth its money and how you assemble it. And in the end, you see some pictures of the assembly. Okay, have fun. Oh, you see in the pictures of this cotton candy Christmas special set. <laughs> Let's go through. Instructions, a typical Rio Bricks instructions. No problem at all. We have 370 pages, something like that. Yes. No problem. Sometimes you really have to pay attention, closer look, uh, especially with all the arrows, where they go. Sometimes it's not the corner where you expect, so you have to closer look. Um, I tell this cause I did some mistakes. You really recognize it early. It's no problem. You don't recognize it at the end. Oh, I did something wrong. You, you really, uh, uh, it, it fell on your feet immediately. But you really have to pay attention and have a closer look. But instructions are flawlessly. Nothing is uh, great or desaturated. Everything has still the colors so or the orientation is not always super easy. But I would say it's the same like a Lego instructions. Okay, we have uh, 44 stickers. All the baby blue ones are just Happy Christmas in different languages. Frohe Weihnachten, that's German. And Frolik Kerstfest, it's perhaps it's Swedish, I don't know. Feliz Navidad, das Buur Natale. So, okay. And the other half of the stickers are just more details, more colors, and I believe in this set is so much color, an excavator, and details, you don't need this. Okay, size, we have with the elk here 32 centimeters, we have 14.5 in width, and in height we have nearly 30 centimeters. When you open this completely, we have 67 centimeters in width. Okay, so the assembly straight through, no problems. You build the base, then here a little bit, here a little bit, here a little bit, and so on, and so on. And the last two building steps are the trees and the locomotive and the elk and something like that. But it's a straightforward build, no problem. I needed five hours, perhaps you need six or something. If you build it with a child, perhaps you need seven to eight hours, but it's okay. And a child will really have its fun with all these nice little details here inside, all the packaging, the doors, here the, what is this called, what Henry Ford invented? I don't know, 
the band, con is it working band, construction band? I don't know, in Germany it's called fleece band, fleece band, flow band. I don't know. Okay. Um, but this set was a surprise for me because a lot of you know I hate to building trees and tank tracks. And we have four trees and two times tank tracks in the set. So that was a surprise for me. <laughs> no problem at all. Okay. A colorful, very detailed set. <coughs> Sorry for that. The only thing here, the elk, there's a gap. I don't get the elk, the two parts so pushed together that you, that you don't see here the small gap. That's everything. And you have to push a little bit this part here up, that this here could slip underneath it, and then you can close it without any problems. Okay. Yeah. The sides, they are not clean looking or something like that, but normally you have something attached to the side or you have it opened so you don't see it, so I don't care. Here we have the critical infrastructure of the set. We have two battery boxes. So the green one, they are connected to uh, cables and in the cables are small micro LED um, between the cables. And they are attached to the green box. You can't change it. And they are very Ah, like a real cable or, or if you're soldering something, soldering, so that, that looks a little bit like the, the, the soldering mass um, stuff. Okay, the gray box, the gray battery box, levers the power up to here. You can use a USB cord if you want, so you don't have to change batteries. But there's one thing, okay, you see this here? This here is meant to stuck directly under here. So, but you see it's too short. The cable is just too short. I don't know real bricks. <laughs> that doesn't work. Okay. A solution is the cables from here and from the battery box are long enough. You stack five, six more bricks underneath the board here, the circuit board, the circuit board comes up and perhaps then it's long enough. But real bricks, these are things that shouldn't happen, that you cut the cables too short. That shows me perhaps you haven't built this set. If you have, would have built the set, you would recognize, oh, it's too short. Um, but I don't know, I don't know. That's really the two things, the too short cable and here the gap on our elk. One thing I noticed is um, sometimes you have a little bit of mold, the rest of the mold or oil, or oily substance on four, five, seven bricks. It's from the molding, it's no problem. Just use a little bit microfiber uh, and water or soap and it's gone. I had it here on top, everything is gone. Uh, no problem with that. Ah, I used a fork here and um, <laughs> I really left some markings on the bricks. Um, what is really cool is how they did the cable management without any special bricks, just one by one bricks with pinhole and they are arranged here so the cable can go through. At the corner we have the panels just in this inside it's open so you don't see it, all the cables so it's a good solution for your cable management even inside you don't need all the special bricks that Funhole have. It's cool what Funhole did but you see here for such a kind of set it's, it's unnecessary you can do this with normal bricks that are in uh, the portfolio since generations. Okay nothing more to tell you I like it it's really cramped and it's colorful and it's hurting my eyes and um, I need some death metal now um, but I like it I really like it <laughs> and this is you like it or you hate it I wouldn't buy this for me no I'm not a fan of, of Christmas I wouldn't buy this but I believe for families who like Christmas who have little children I think this is a good set
Yeah? And if you get this for a very good price, even if you don't like Christmas, you get a lot of good parts. A lot of good parts where you can buy another Christmas diorama or something else. There's a lot of good parts, especially plant parts in here. No problem with that. Okay, next is the Iron Man here from Tu Ole, I believe it's called. 1300 pieces. A small one. That's a small review. Okay, now you see the pictures of the assembly and I tell you bye-bye and we see us with the Iron Man. And oh, this comes today or came today. Silbert. The cool thing about this here is we have a sound module and we have little programmable LED um, kits so we can program eyes or signs or something like that. I'm curious, I'm curious, especially with these LED eyes. I believe you have, if this is working well, you have a lot of possibilities for cool mocks. Okay, thank you. Have a good time. Bye bye.